Hi, my name is Leah. I'm with Goshen Community Arts. And today I'm just going to show you a really easy activity that you can do with many items that you have at home. Today we're going to learn how to do a continuous line contour drawing. Um, the materials that you need to do it are paper, um, preferably plain paper, um, construction paper. You can use a paper bag that you've ripped open. Um, per, uh, computer paper is great. Um, I would not recommend using like lined paper. It would be a little confusing. Um, the materials that we're going to be using to draw with are also some things that you probably have at home. Um, crayons, I have a four-year-old, we have lots of crayons. Um, markers as well. Um, if you have fancy Prismacolor markers, those work great. Um, I'm actually gonna be using um, a pen called a Micron. It's a fancy pen, some of you might have them, um, but just a regular pencil works really well too. So pretty straightforward, um, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Prismacolor, uh, excuse me, my Micron. It's just a tiny black pen marker. I have this, my white piece of paper in front of me. Now, a continuous line contour drawing um, is what it sounds like. You use one continual line. So our goal and the only real rule that we have is you cannot lift your pen off your paper. Now, my students, always stare at me when I say you can't lift your pen off your paper. How is that possible? But I am positive you can do this. Um, today I'm going to do a self-portrait of myself. Um, I love drawing people and how I have my students do this is they um, have a partner and they draw each other. Um, if you don't have a partner, uh, if, you, if there's no one in your house, you can do a self-portrait. You can use a picture from a magazine. You can draw someone on Zoom. Um, you can also do simple things. If you don't like drawing people, you can draw a pair of shoes, whatever sort of still life of fruit you have in your kitchen. It doesn't really matter. Whatever is interesting to you. The only rule in this is there, you can never pick your pen, pencil, marker, whatever you're using to draw with. You cannot pick it off from the piece of paper. So let's get started. Now, another question I have is where do I start? Well, there's no, you can start wherever you want. When I'm drawing someone, I tend to kind of start at the top of the head. Um, and I always tell my students too, a lot of people draw really tiny and small. When you're doing this, it's kind of fun to kind of fill up the whole page. Um, after I show you how to do this, I will show you some things that you can add to it to make it a little more interesting. Um, but you need no skill whatsoever to do this. Um, and it's just kind of fun. So, okay. So what you can't see off camera right now is there's a mirror so I can look at myself, reference myself, um, use a mirror if you're doing a self-portrait at home, or like I said, you know, draw someone in your house. If you're quarantining in a house with other people, um, you can, you know, look at the TV, draw someone on TV or a magazine, as long as they're staying still, because you gotta have still. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up while I do this because it's kind of better. Okay, so I'm gonna start and we'll start off on the top of my head. And you want to just do one continual line. You can kind of see that I'm doing that. I have bangs, so I'm kind of putting in these bangs and I'm going back. So you can see like this. Now I'm gonna do this eyebrow. I have these big eyebrows, I'm kind of put in under this. I'm going down to my eye. And as you can see, I am not lifting my pen off the paper, which can be really hard for some people. I'm gonna come down here and my chin, I think I'm gonna go up, draw my lips. That way, whoa, I gave myself a really big chin. There's some more hair. Make my hair a little bit bigger on the side. There's my other eye. 
Let me go down and see the whole time. And I'm just following a line. I'm not going over any lines either. So if you go along, you wanna kind of stay parallel. See how I'm going along the line, but I'm not going over the same line. So it gives this like look of like a bazillion lines, which is kind of fun. I'm gonna go over here, finish up my crazy hair. And voila. Self-portrait, continual line. Now, <laughs> yes, you might look at this and be like, that looks kind of crazy. It has a lot of movement to it. It's kind of fun. Um, any sort of skill, especially if you're drawing with someone that maybe has a little bit more skill with you. Um, a lot of the times, I think kids especially um, are actually a little bit better at this. Um, those of us that are adults tend to think about this a little bit too hard. Um, it's supposed to be just a fun activity to kind of loosen up your brain, loosen up your hand. Um, and obviously, you wouldn't know exactly that it was me looking at this, but it has a lot of movement. It's lively, kind of fun. Um, so some of the other things that you can do to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, here's one I did really quickly of my daughter and myself. My daughter right here, I drew one of myself. I just had this paper that I had some watercolor paint on it. I just drew on top of it. Um, another example that I have, if you have watercolor, um, watercolor paints are great. Doesn't matter what kind of watercolor they are, the Crayola ones that a lot of little kids have. We have like three packs of them at home. Um, those work really great. Um, just make sure that the paper is heavy. If you use watercolor paints, unlike a computer paper, it can kind of get soggy and weird and frustrating. Um, so just make sure you have a thicker paper. Watercolor paper is ideal, but any sort of just heavier paper, like a mixed media paper. Um, if you have bigger paper and you want to really think about it, this is one that one of our teachers did, Aliyah Munley, actually. We love using this as it samples. She did it using um, different, she used microns as well as Sharpies, so permanent markers, and then added in a lot of different watercolor paints. So you can see she has many different faces here. It's really fun, really lively. Um, yeah, so I hope you're doing all doing well. I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you later. Bye.